Well, I'm working on the truck right now because I wanted to have a peek at the uh, problem with my mirror, which is probably the mirror itself, considering uh, how banged up it is. But yeah, hi. Uh, I follow the cables around. That's, that's the cable that's going to the mirror. So it's either the mirror or uh, maybe my uh, my switch here, because this is what does all the work. So. You have a large connector, the back of it, and the rest are uh, outputs. So, large bell connector like this, it really works fine. But yeah, no, nothing is corroded or anything. So, all right. So I got both parts. I uh, yeah, I don't uh, I don't care about the seat because yeah, it's gone anyways. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna take them inside and. Uh, try to disassemble this one and I hope I don't need to extend it to disassemble it but yeah worst case uh, we're gonna have to do surgery Good work. Pretty rusty there. how you remove the glass there's a little dip here and if you flip it over you'll see where you need to go right there the tip yeah it won't focus yeah. anyways uh, you have to stick the screwdriver in there and there's a little tab here right at the tip and you press it on Press it so it clicks. And once you do, uh, this goddamn camera. Okay, so now you press that tab right there. And you push it down. Do it at the same time. Just then up so the uh, the clip doesn't clip back into it. So now it should be fine. And now you hold it down, move it up, and there we go, it pops out, so. so there you have it, so that's the tab you need to press, so you press that tab, push the mirror a little bit in, and then you flip it over so it can uh, clear, uh, clear the cover on top here, and you got it, so pretty much what holds it in. There's four pads here, clips into, and then this is supposed to take away the, uh, the wiggle room, all the wiggle, all the uh, the slack out of it, and well, mine doesn't work, so I'll have to uh, to use a little bit of heat and bend it back, and it should be fine. Okay, so uh, there's a jack here. That's the uh, that's the motor to uh, pull it in and out. We're gonna see if it makes any noise because in a car it doesn't make anything. So, so what I got set up here is a pretty weak power supply that has a 12 volt, so it shouldn't overpower any component, except maybe the the LED lights. 
I don't know if they are the resistor or a, but anyway I'm just gonna see if it makes any noise yeah it makes noise so the mortar is good yeah I don't know about the track though but yeah the motor is good so that's one thing checked okay so now to uh, remove the motor I'm gonna check everything grew, grease lube everything and the track is all corroded so I'm gonna have to remedy the that oh yeah you have T15 bolts right there so three of them will take out the whole motor that slide, that slide in and out anyway and there it is the motor and it works fine so you see shaft torque 200 12 volt DC part number and it's made in South Korea AC AC Tronic Co uh, Limited but it works so uh, it has to be the track yeah it's pretty much st stuck in there okay so it moves now but it's really stiff so, so we're gonna use our little uh, Canadian friend called ProLab. We're gonna shoot the heck out of this track and make it move back and forth. And yeah, don't do that unless you remove the motor. This is what locks it in. So if you want to force it, you have to remove this. Otherwise, you're never gonna get it done. This will keep it from uh, from moving, and you're gonna crack the plastic, the aluminium, or break the motor. So, so you do need to remove everything. Does it? All right, now the track is clean, so it should move. Should. Right, so it works. Then I'm gonna give them uh, the contacts a little clean. I'm gonna try it on the truck, but I think it's the window switches that's having issues because both 
with all the sliding action wouldn't work I wouldn't hear a noise anyways I would have heard it so uh, yeah we'll see I'll try it anyways now with the cable let's see if the cable works